Salutare prieteni, astăzi am un invitat de seamă, este vorba de ambasadorul la nivel mondial, la nivel global, al primului whisky românesc, Carpathian Single Malt. Uh, invitatul meu de astăzi este domnul Colin C. Lovering, cu care voi avea plăcerea să continui acest interviu în limba engleză. Thank you for being uh, present here at Via Cluj TV. Thank you for inviting me along, I'm delighted to be here. What is Carpathian single malt? It's, that's, a, that's a great question. Uh, it's really the, the first ever single malt whiskey to be produced in Romania, uh, which is you know, quite, a, quite an accolade just to start with. Uh, that's basically the, the principle of it. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. It is proper to talk about uh, Romanian whiskey or, or not, uh, because uh, whiskey is linked to uh, English uh, speaking countries. But It, it's evolved. Yeah, you, you, you would be correct in saying that maybe 10 years ago there would be a tradition of Scotland and Ireland being the dominant forces in terms of whiskey production. But as we know, the last few years, countries like Japan and in Scandinavia have started to produce uh, along the way as well. And I think that, you know, the story here, because of uh, Dr. Nawaf Salome, the founder of Alexandrun Group, they've been making wines and spirits for many, many years. It was kind of a, a dream of his. Uh, to really make a, a single malt whiskey. And, and that dream started about seven years ago. And fast forward to today, we're in you know, about 14 nearly, I think, uh, different, different expressions. And the ball is rolling very, very fast for us. Yeah, indeed. Uh, actually, Romania is becoming an English-speaking uh, country because everyone in this country does speak uh, or understand a little bit mm -hmm. uh, of English. Um, how difficult was to start this uh, this phenomenon already <laughs> this what sorry Ph phenomenon this process yeah, uh, to have uh, <laughs> well do you know the the, the easy well you, you could you could say something like you know, the dacia duster yeah you know, we'd said five <laughs> years ago that it was going to sell over a million cars people thought we were crazy you know i've been living in romania nearly 14 years you know i have a passion for this country like many many expats do So, so the initial thought was, you know, how is it going to be received? Are people going to say a, a whiskey from Romania or are they going to say a whiskey from Romania? And, and it was the <laughs> second one. People were curious. And everywhere we've, you know, we've been, we've been literally around the world. We've been in the US, UK, Greece, Athens, in Athens and uh, in Cyprus. And, uh, and there's a great curiosity. And I think because Romania has got a reputation for winemaking, It wasn't like a real out of the out of the blue country to be producing a quality spirits, which is what's what's happening with the Alexandron Group with Brancovano and the other things that they're making anyway. So it was kind of accepted. In answer to your question, it was kind of like, okay, sounds good. Now let me taste it. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, the, the the proof was in the tasting. I think uh, you are doing a whiskey tasting uh, here in Cluj, in Transylvania, which is. Uh, uh, a place uh, which is very well known for a palinka. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love the way people have a smile when they mention palinka or tweaker to me, because obviously as an expat, that's one of the that's one of the baptism of living in Romania that you have to go to somebody's house and not just have one, maybe have two or two At or least. three. So there is that that that. So, and I think that's part of what the you know the passion of Romania is is in traditions and the family orientation. So yeah. Yes, there's lots of people making the, the palinka or the tweaker in, in the back garden shed. Um, so it was kind of no surprise when you had a, you know, a big organization saying, look, we want to make a single malt whiskey. I think the nation was like, cool, this, this is good. And, and that's, that's part of it. You know, when I'm traveling around and talking about a, a quality product, which we can, I can reassuringly, confidently say that we're now rubbing shoulders with some of the best single malt whiskies in the world. And, and that's, you know, that, that's now a fact. But half of my passion is about talking about Romania as well. And I think, I think over, over the last sort of 12 months with the humanitarian exposure that Romania's had with the amazing work that's been done supporting you know, our neighbors over in Ukraine, When I'm traveling, you know, people are more aware of what, of what Romania is and, and, the, and the family and traditions. So when they talk about that, it's quite an easy default to then talk about, you know, the, 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 the Salome family creating Alexandron Group and having a product that's very, very, very much family orientated and really made for the Romanian people to be proud of. And we hope that they continue to be 
proud of it. Yeah, it's not uh, only about uh, whiskey. Mm. Uh, it's also uh, this kind of uh, attitude uh, uh, expressed to the world uh, because uh, I'm very proud uh, that, uh, for example, the Romanian royal family helped uh, Ukrainian uh, uh, refugees from the first day of uh, this uh, mm. totally crazy war started uh, by Russia in Ukraine. Mm. Mm. Uh, and uh, also many Romanians, many of my friends, uh, me included, uh, were involved in uh, mm. helping Ukrainian refugees. Uh, our uh, team uh, from uh, Via Cluj TV uh, was two times uh, already in Ukraine. Wow, wow, uh, but uh, talking uh, this about uh, these subjects, about these topics, uh, it uh, remind me that uh, whiskey is not only about uh, having a party it's also uh, <laughs> having a cultural background mm, and mm. Uh, i believe that uh, we can understand uh, this kind of uh, spirit <laughs> um, in this context uh, sharing our uh, common values mm -hmm. our common principles and uh, i'm very glad that, that uh, you mentioned this uh, Romanian, uh, Romanians who mm. were involved in helping Ukrainians, mm. uh, but uh, they are uh, open to have a good whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I think I think it's fair to say that yeah, we our, our, our memories, whether it's a glass of wine or a glass of whiskey, it's not just a quality product. It's it's the moment. It's the occasion, as you touched on. And and I think what what Carpathian is doing, one thing it is doing is actually opening up. Because if we look at the traditional whiskey drinker, I'm not going to get into gender or anything else. Um, you know, there is that sophisticated connoisseurs out there, and I'm sure we're going to meet a few tonight. But I'm sure we're also going to meet a lot of people who are uh, sort of exploring spirits, uh, uh, and, and in particular whiskey. And I think what we've done with Carpath, and hopefully yourself, you'll be able to uh, be witness to this later, that we've created something that's actually gonna open up the whiskey market. So, so we feel as an organization that we're not just coming in and, and with a competitive product and fighting in a very, a very sort of uh, hard market. We feel also contributing to the whiskey, whiskey global market and bringing people who never drank whiskey before. And just to finish on that, you know, when, when we're doing events and we'll see it tonight, if I say to somebody, Have, uh, do, you, do you drink whiskey? And they say, yes, my conversation is a little bit different than when I say to somebody, do you drink whiskey? And they, not, they say no. And then I actually ask them why. And they say, well, it's a little bit harsh on my throat and nose. And, and then I say, have you actually ever tried it? And 50% of them say, no, I've, I've never actually <laughs> drank it. I just assume it's going to. So fast forward to, what, to what's being created by Alan Anderson, the master distiller and the team is something that, that people, I always, I always say about Romania, you know, visiting Romania, your, your expectation can be here, the reality is always here. You know, we can go to some glorious places like Madrid or Paris with big expectation, and, and sometimes we're not always happy, uh, but I think with Romania and with Carpathian, if I can use the two as a comparison, people's expectations are kind of quite high because of the, the knowledge here of, of making spirits, but then the tasting, and then they're like, wow, you know, this, is, this is really something special. Uh, and, and a recent event we did in London, we actually had other manufacturers sending their people over to us. Say, and they said, my boss has sent me over here to try your Carpathian because he said it's, it's amazing. <laughs> so you know, you, that's probably the greatest compliment we can have is that our fellow whiskey producers are saying to us, well done, guys. You know, you're doing a really, really good job. And this is something a little bit special. The main, uh, I don't know, ingredients uh, of this whiskey are Romanians? They, they are indeed, yeah. I, I kind of break the Romanian bit, really, although I say I'm an honorary Romanian because I've been here so many years, but it's Romanian barley. Mm -hmm. uh, and the distillery is, is literally sitting at the, uh, the, the sub-Carpathian. So the waters that come from the Carpathians are what goes into the distillery. So it is literally 100%. And then, so it's, uh, it's matured for, for three or four years in a, in a Kentucky bourbon oak barrel, white oak barrel. And then we do the magic. Uh, and it's not, it's not totally unique, but what we do is pretty unique. And it all started off with, uh, with Fetasca Negra, which is a wine that's produced by Alexandron in, in Tohan. 
uh, and so they literally, the terminology is dump. So you dump the wine and we don't do anything. We literally pour the whiskey straight into that empty cask and seal it for another year. That's the, the magic part, I think, that really sort of creates that, that flavour and that, as you mentioned, that sort of whiskey that you can socially easily drink. And, and you know, it went from Pinot Noir, Madeira, Fantastica Nagra, and fast forward, I think we're on, I'm losing count. I think we're on about sort of 20, the 23rd one, exactly the same process, basically. So the, the, the single malt whiskey made in a single distillery. Uh, single cask and there's you know, it's, it's non chill filtered there's no additives there's no I'm not going to get into a sales pitch here but there's no colorants and, that, and and I think what it brings is every single bottle because only producing about two barrels on the line so it's like 800 bottles maximum most most production runs so every bottle you get and I'm going to give you a bottle later <laughs> it'll say you know, number number six of 438 and, and it's almost like a, you know, one of these limited edition paintings. You either want to drink it or you think, oh, actually, I'm, I'm going to keep this. This is a bit of a collector's item because that same, let's say it's a Fatasca Nagra finish uh, next year, you could put the two together and there may be a slightly different colour there. That's because mm -hmm. we don't, we don't colour it. We don't do anything with it. So every single bottle has kind of got its own character and personality which i think fits perfectly into romanian culture because you know the character and family and traditions i mentioned are, are really sort of sacred here so we we think we've come up with the right combination and and so far so good people are really embracing it uh, particularly in in Romania and Transylvania is uh, it's a very diverse region, culturally, historically, uh, uh, and and this is a, a very important region for us to to sort of uh, satisfy, as I said, those connoisseurs, but also please those people who can have it, who can pick up a bottle of Carpathian single malt and say, yeah, this is 100% Romanian. I'm going to buy a bottle at the airport. I'm going to take it to my friends in in Spain and say, there you go. Enjoy that, and uh, we hope more and more people do that. But why one bottle? Of, why not two? Of them? <laughs> <laughs> I, was trying to, I was trying to be conservative, but depending on how many you can fit into into your your bag. But you you make a good point. You know, my my uh, my saying is that you know, we want we don't want, just want people to buy one one bottle. Yeah, we, we, you can do that with any product and do it, maybe make it cheap, maybe not quality, whatever. We didn't want to do that. We'll make it a top world-class quality product. Uh, but what we want people to do is really enjoy it for its quality and the emotion of it, but then want to get uh, buy another bottle and buy another. Then we know we've got a Carpathian on our hands. I'm, I'm, I'm naming everybody Carpathian once they've had that second bottle. So. And talking about the cultural context, context uh, we have to say that the uh, Alexandrian group is the official supplier of the Romanian Royal House, mm. as uh, via TV. It's also an uh, official broadcaster for yeah. Transylvania of the Romanian Royal House of Romania. So you have that, that nice yeah. link for the, for the Rhine, Rhine Extra, which has got that wonderful historical uh, uh, history as well. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much uh, for uh, your presence uh, here in uh, Via Cluj TV studio. I hope to meet you again because it is uh, such a fascinating story of the Romanian <laughs> first whiskey. Yeah. Uh, and I hope that uh, um, Carpathian single malt will be will be known uh, uh, in the whole world as a premium whiskey because uh, uh, I know that uh, the team of Alexandrian Group uh, uh, worked a lot to mm. create uh, this uh, this spirit. Uh, thank you very they much. They still are. Well, the journey the journey's <laughs> just begun. One year, <laughs> but we're uh, we're on a great journey. Maybe you see each other in twelve months and and reflect on the the next part of the journey. But thank you very much for for the time as well. Thank you. Uh, prieten, vă mulțumesc și vouă ne vedem pe net.